Today I'm talking to photographer Chantal Nibbe, who's introducing a new aspect to her photo shoots, bonjour shoots, also known as a photo shoot in sexy undies. Now Chantal, for any lady that must be your worst nightmare, having a photo shoot in your undies leaking out onto the internet. Tell me a little bit more about it. Well basically, Sonia, a boudoir shoot is very special. For you to give a gift for your husband or your fiance, um, you on the photo shoot or being on the photo shoot with me and designing an, an album for him for your big day is very special. Not even just weddings, it's like couples or uh, even for yourself, it's not just weddings. But even if it's special? It's very special, y'all. Yeah. How can I be protected? How can I ensure that yes. these photos won't leak onto yes. the internet? So I've got a contract that's that stipulates basically definitely that no information will, will go out. I won't post anything. I won't even ask in the contract if I'm allowed to 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 publish any. So legally, I am protected. You are yes. And what should I bring along? Basically, it's lace underwear that is very sexy. Um, it's well, I'm not too basically fussy about the g-strings because it's it's just the so this is not the cheap one no this is this is not something you do for your lover or for your affair this is something that you do for that special occasion yes. it must be someone with whom you are an intimate love relationship Yo. this is not cheap no it's not cheap even if it's just for yourself it's not cheap as well so even the divorcee who wants to boost her self-esteem yes. can come for the Shoot. Definitely, because it's for yourself on the end of the, the day. But if you come for a boudoir shoot for your fiance, it's style. It's very, very special and stylish. So elegant in other very words. professional, elegant, stylish. Yes. Okay. So I will prefer lace, um, like white, black, and maybe perhaps a color. Not too much, because if you bring too many, you don't know what to do, and you want to do everything, but you don't want to do it. There's just, you need to pick three. And if you have that um, special undies that you bought for yourself, you will feel special immediately. Yo. But now you're a mommy like me, and with the years, unfortunately, the white puts, puts on. Um, what are you, what, what can I do? I, I, I want to do this shoot, but I don't want you to necessarily reflect all my worst spots on my body. How can you go about it? Okay, so you as a professional, I'm, a, I'm the prof professional photographer, which means I need to uh, guide you to say how you need to 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 be uh, to um, like but, but to to portray. So in please, other words, to you pose. you will give me tips to say, Sonia, no, 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 not like this. It's yes. a reflection of bum, yes. but rather rather let's yes. focus on your face. And obviously, I'll ask you, what is your the bad points of you. What's your preferences? Yeah, and uh, if you are self-confidence, uh, if you are not happy with some something on your body. So, or, so, so, for instance, if I don't like my nose. Yes, that's a problem, but I will fix it. So with Photoshop, you can. Maybe you've got spots on your face, or spots on your body, or um, stretch stretch marks, or whatever. Like the we all do we, off the do, We do. So we can fix it but the problem is that people don't want to come for the boudoir shoots because they are so scared that it will look bad but it doesn't because on the end of the day you will get the photos without the stretch marks and it will look very sexy not that i want to make you fake or change you but you don't want that mark on your body on the photos so, so so you will ensure as a professional photographer that the end product is something that's professional elegant stylish yes and that my lover my husband to be or even just myself yes. get something that i can feel proud of and that will boost myself yes then. definitely how long is such a photo shoot it's an hour but um there's obviously certain points that you need to focus on before you come to me and book the session uh, there's a it's very important for you to book a professional makeup artist if you come to me without makeup, your photos won't be so amazing as what you have pictured it. So you need to make sure that your hair is done, your makeup is done, you are shaved, um, you know, just 
So, so in other words, in very important is to groom yourself. Yes, go definitely. for the makeup, go for the hair, do the necessarily yes. waxing if you have yes, to. Definitely. So that when you go to the shoot, you're there in, in uh, how you would be when you go to your work, yes. but in other words, just in your undies. Yes. And how lo what's the cost thereof? That, that's all, always a very important factor, is what's it's going to cost me? I would say more or less about two two thousand five hundred, including makeup artist. I would suggest that. So I you can also book me a makeup artist. I if, can. if if I don't have one at hand, I yes. can also yes. come to you, and you will be able to provide yes. it. Okay. Because we are working with so many makeup artists, and we know their work. So and they they are obviously professional, and they know exactly what looks amazing on the camera. Because there's flashes involved, there's um, lightning. So you need to make sure, as a makeup artist, that your makeup won't fade away with my photo shoot. So the makeup artists that's working with us know exactly what we need as photographers to make this shoot amazing. Well, obviously, this is something that is very popular, and as a well-known photographer, you are also um, extremely in demand. If I want to make a booking today, how long in advance should I book you to have this special photo shoot? For instance, for my wedding. For a wedding, you need to book like a year or two before. Um, most of the, the couples, bridal couples, will book you uh, one year ahead or two years. It depends on how fast they are starting with their arrangements. For a boudoir shoot, um, if you are if you book me for your wedding, then it will be included. It depends on the package. But if you only want to come to me without wedding and just so just, just, for your, shoot. Yeah, just for yourself, no wedding involved, no husband involved, no boyfriend involved, just for yourself, even if there's someone, you need to book a month or so before. Um, there's always a list that I'll send uh, for you to make sure that uh, you need to come on the day without a bra because the straps will make marks on your body and then um, bring jewelry but not too much because you don't want to over you know the blink you don't want you don't want to you don't want it to blink too much no you, it's stylish so you need you, you, stylish so you need to make sure that it's very 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 little uh, jewelry but um, but they can be because it makes it obviously a little bit more elegant. The, what you what you what you're explaining to me basically brings about the idea that this is not a shoot where you bring your sex toys along. No way. But you can bring bring that special shit yes. that thing that's <laughs> simply special between you and him. Yes. Or his favorite golf club. Yes. Or uh, his favorite, um, well, maybe co coffee mug. But yes. it's something that when he looks at it, he should he sh sh think to himself, she did this especially for me. Yes. That's the idea. That is definitely. Classy, yes. nothing cheap. No, no. Chantal, you've been a photographer in the industry for quite a while. So for me coming to you, tell me a little bit more about yourself so that I know that I can come to you in confidence. So when you come to me, Sonia, and you would like to book a boudoir shoot, for instance, um, I will always say would like to meet you and to get to know you as a person. And then obviously build a relationship, trust, and then I'll explain to you what I'm doing as a photographer. If How long have you been in the industry? I've been in the industry for 13 years. Any complaints so far? No. So I can be assured that I'm in good hands? Yes. And I won't have something to worry about afterwards. No, you don't have to. But I would suggest that if you are coming to me for a bit of a shoot, first find out if your fiancé likes it or if he's maybe the jealous type. Because we had certain situations where he didn't want um, his fiancé to go for a bit of a shoot. Even if I'm a, lay I'm a woman, he didn't want it because... He feels that she exposed herself. So there's so many communication that you need to do beforehand. Before so in you other words, this, this is not this is something that if you if you're not doing it for yourself alone, yes. you should do your homework yes. and both parties. Yes. You as the model and the husband to be yes. or the fiance or the boyfriend yes. should be comfortable for the, with yes, this. Definitely. We don't want situations where he's upset with us as a photographer. It's 
we've been booked by the model or the bride. We are we don't know the the groom. So unfortunately, we can't be held liable for. Um, jealousy in the relationship or people that's that's or him that doesn't want her to do it or be in front of a photographer with a underwear or just for him so there's certain things that you need to find out before you book a photographer and make sure that your fiance or your boyfriend or whoever it is is okay with it okay with you being in your underwear in front, in of, front of the camera yes well there you have it ladies gents any mommies or even grandmas, please book Chantal in advance for your special bonjour shoot. Thank you.